Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with reading. Virgo, this is going to be, what are their true intentions in love? So today we're going to have a love reading, and near the end, we're going to pull the Gypsy uh, Oracle cards, and we're going to have a Gypsy spread, but we will complete the Gypsy spread in the extended reading. Yeah, so right now we're going to get into this. It's very fitting that we are going to do a Gypsy uh, spread, because we're definitely Gypsies over here. I don't mean officially gypsies, right? Like, you know, uh, but I just mean with mixed ancestry, right? So let's see what we have for you guys for Virgo. Uh, and Virgo, we're going to pull uh, some new oracle cards today, we are. So let's see what we have for Virgo and their person, I might add. Yeah, so let's see what we have. We have the card of, uh, let's get the right one. We have Simplicity. Okay, simplicity, and we have the feather here, like up in the, you know, up in the sky. Simplicity talks about, uh, for me, it talks about simple joys and uh, that are very beautiful. And maybe there were things uh, in the past that were too complicated, right? And kind of, yeah, maybe convoluted uh, situations. But let's see, we have a four Virgo, and their persons get another card, and we have. The card of openness. So you're open. Oh, it's not the right card again. See, these are sticking because they're new. We have wisdom. All right. So you've learned, Virgo. You or your person has uh, gained some experience that has brought uh, light and understanding and wisdom. That's a good thing. Let's get one more card for Virgo and their person. And we have the card of wonders. Yeah, this is beautiful. So, you know, the crystal is here. It's kind of like, uh, it's very interesting here, this type of crystal here. Uh, showing up, but there's some type of breakthrough here. Yeah, there's some type of a breakthrough. Uh, and this breakthrough, I feel like, is kind of shining the light that simplicity is the best way. Mm -hmm. You guys have something beautiful coming, you or your person, or together, right? Uh, but let's see what we have. Uh, let's see how this kind of unfolds. Let's get some more cards, and we're going to use uh, this other new deck we have, right? And this is by Denise Lynn, too. Yeah, let's see what we got for Virgo and their person. Yeah, see what we have for Virgo and their person. And we have the card of staying focused. Okay, so there's something you want, uh, uh, one of you or both, but something that is wanted here, kind of desired. Uh, but it needs focus in order to maintain it or achieve it. Something, some, something has been learned here, and this is why somebody's focused. Uh, and this wisdom is allowing kind of like something to unfold here, but you guys need to stay focused. Yeah, let's see what else we have for Virgo. This card wanted to come out. And we have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So you guys, some of you guys here are like on some type of an unknown path, like a new path. Like you're chartering a new new paths, new new frontiers, uh, new ventures. And, you know, maybe this is a love, a relationship, of course, but whatever it is, uh, it needs focus and you need courage, all right, because uh, this is unknown. So this is kind of implying that courage is needed. Uh, wisdom, I believe, was needed, but there is wisdom here, yeah. So let's see what else we have. We'll get one more card from this deck. Let's see what we got for Virgo and their person. We have the card of... The time is now, answering the call. And they have the maiden here, or, you know, the maiden, or the... She looks like she's a maiden to me. And she's opening the garden gate. Yeah, this is very cool. And uh, the deer mm -hmm, is outside, mm -hmm, right here, looking at her, right? And so she's going somewhere. She's answering the call. You guys are answering some type of a call, or... The time is now for a relationship or to like to take a take an unknown territory. In other words, to cross a bridge here or to walk out into the unknown. You guys want something here and uh it's it's something new and you guys are uh taking it. I feel like you guys are. So let's see what we have and we'll get a couple more cards from a different deck before we get actually into the tarot. So let's see what it says here for Let's see what these cards have to say for Virgo and their person. And I was kind of looking for my favorite cards here. I kind of don't see them. What the heck? Here they are. Let's see what we have for Virgo and their person. Mm-hmm. 
do we have for Virgo on that person? I'm going to get this card. We have the pond. So this is inward thinking. Yeah, typically. It's really kind of what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. And we have the ghost. Wow. So the ghost is, you know, about past memories. It's really what it is. Unless you have, uh, sometimes it can speak to maybe ghosting somebody. But this is usually about, uh, you know, some memories are haunting you guys from the past. I feel like you guys, for some of you guys, you might want to return to the past here. But, uh, and you're answering the call. Like you're, you're stepping into that. Uh, you're focused. But there's some type of, maybe there was a little bit of fear here with this uh, unknown territory. But there's wisdom gained here. And I, I also feel like uh, maybe this took a long time to figure out that some of you guys might want to return to somebody from the past here. Because these are memories that you can't forget, but they are kind of haunting you. And haunting you could be in a good way or a bad way. Um, it could be in a bad way. It could be like you want to return to this, but you have a little bit of fear. And a good way is I really want to do this, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we have for Virgo uh, and their person. We also have the card of uh, Rebellion. Mm -hmm. And this lady here, uh, she was kind of, I feel like she felt like she's standing in this kind of a, kind of a wall here. In other words, like she felt oppressed. That's what the rebellion was about. You might have felt stuck. You guys might have felt stuck in a situation, uh, in some type of a situation. I don't like to use the word stuck, but maybe oppressed, held down, held back. And it looks like you guys uh, kind of wanted to venture out and do something else. So let's get, uh, let's go ahead and start the tarot reading for Virgo. And this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person. Let's see what we have for Virgo here. See we have for Virgo and their person. And Virgo, you have the Fool card right away. So this is in the recent past. So you're doing this. This is uh, this is such a clear reading. It is. I haven't even set down the, uh, the tarot cards. Uh, you know, I mean, 90% of them, right? But, you know, you've gained some wisdom here. And this is like, you guys are like, this is uh, wonders. This card about wonders. Whatever you're kind of stepping into, it could be about somebody from the past is like wondrous to you guys. This is like beautiful. This is uh this is like really what you want here. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's like it's yeah, let's see what else we have. The two of wands, definitely this is about a path. And you guys, it's possible you guys have uh like this can talk about a clear choice for a path forward. And it can talk about sometimes choosing between two different paths, all the twos. And the challenge is you, Virgo, the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. What you want is the sun card, but it's reversed, and your fear or doubt is going to be the eight of pentacles. So you, uh, your fear here, Virgo, is whether or not this path is going to be work in your favor. Yeah, or if, like, your investment here, right, the eight of pentacles, and what you are investing here, or this chance you're taking with the fool, if it's going to work out for you. And maybe, you know, you could be doubting maybe if this is involving somebody else, if this person is going to, like, invest in this as well. Yeah. The sun card over here in the reverse, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Let's look at your person's energy, and they have the world card. So here you are with the fool, and they have the world. You look like you, you're, you're on a new venture, uh, and they look like they are uh, experiencing an ending and a new cycle, a new chapter in their life. This could possibly be in the recent past. It could be, you know, happening now. Uh, let's see what else we have, though. We have the Four of Swords. The challenge for them is justice. What they want is the chariot. And their fear or doubt is the Two of Swords. Okay. So, you know, let's see here. They have justice in the uh, challenge. This can talk about, you know, Libra, right? And we have... The Fool, the Sun card, the Chariot card, and the World card. And, you know, these are uh, Aries, Leo, Cancer, and Scorpio, respectively, right? Kind of like in that order. So let's see what we have, you guys, uh, for Virgo and their person. Let's see why you have the Sun card reversed. And we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Wow. So you look like you want, uh, like, some type of solid opportunity... Uh, but you look like you have kind of doubts here. 
especially with that Eight of Pentacles there and the fear. Let's see what else we have. And the Eight of Swords. Wow. So, you know, you could be you could be venturing out here and kind of walking toward a new path and you might feel like that's the only way. And it could be uh, it could be leaving somebody behind here. It's possible. Because here uh, you look like kind of there's no other way unless I kind of have some courage here because you you're seeking this you're seeking something that is wondrous but simple and I feel like you are fleeing like being held down rebellion she's standing in this little wall like you know she can't she wants to get out of the wall and uh, you know she's stuck in there so this is a, definitely about rebellion Mm-hmm. And oppression. That's what that's about. And that could be, it's possible, you know. Uh, let's see what this ghost card has to say. And it is about, uh, it's definitely about somebody, uh, like memories that are haunting somebody from the past. Let's see what it says here. That is if this uh, is handy. I'm not sure it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is all about that. So we're not going to worry about that. I just thought there might be a little added kind of, an added being here. Here it is. Let's see what it has to say about the ghost. Memories, what haunts you? Unfinished business. Yeah, there's somebody from the past, and that's what I was saying here. I feel like there is. You're taking a chance on somebody from the past. Pretty sure, Virgo. So let's see what we have. Uh, and let's look at your person's energy here. They have the World card and the Four of Swords, and this is uh, Juntos, right? This is together the Four of Wands. And they have the Five of Cups. Yeah, and this is so clear. Your person's grieving and ending here. They're grieving and ending, uh, I believe, because you're stepping, uh, you're like, you look like you're like walking toward a new union with somebody. Ace of Pentacles over here. Although it's reversed, it's reversed because you have some fear. Maybe you want a Leo here, this uh, Sun card in the reverse. This... I feel like this is just your energy here. I do feel like you are hoping for uh, a new opportunity with somebody. Let's see what your person's challenge is. Yeah, they're grieving over here. They have the Five of Cups. This is a sad ending. This is emotional loss. You might be married to them with justice uh, in the challenge for them. And the Four of Wands is right here, you guys, in their energy next to the Five of Cups. This is grieving a marriage. It can be or grieving a union for sure. And, you know, your person here is, you might, you, you might possibly still be with this person. I don't think that you are, though. I don't feel like you guys are. The time is now answering the call. Wow. So they have the, the, uh, the devil here, the five of pentacles and justice. You look like you're leaving them out, like they're ending, their marriage is over. That's how it looks here. Wow, and they, they are in bondage about it. They definitely are. Let's see what we have. And we have the chariot card. And let's see what they want here. Page of Cups. And they have the Hangman. So they could be Pisces, right, or Cancer here. But we have the Two of Swords here. Your person feels really stuck here. It's possible they want to overcome all this, kind of like, you know, have a triumph, right? Uh, and, but there's definitely struggles here, and the chariot card sometimes implies that there has been struggles. Yeah, this person uh, doesn't. I feel like they just don't know what to do here. That you're taking on some type of a new union, and they feel like there's, they feel like there's, their hands are tied, like in this card, right? So let's uh, open up the gypsy spread, and then we're going to go ahead and complete that in the other reading. And uh, where are the gypsy cards, right? Yeah, where are they? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Virgo uh, in their person. And of course we'll have, uh, you know, the other, uh, we'll talk about the tarot in the other reading as well. But let's see what we have, and we'll lay these cards down, and we'll complete them in the other reading. And we have the size card, S-I-G-H, in the heart of the matter. This is a woman who is sitting uh, by the ocean side or, you know, by the seaside. And she's worried here about marriage, uh, about divorce and being lonely. Yeah, wow. Let's see what else we have. And in the past here is the service card. 
maybe you were, you know, you were paying attention to this person or, you know, uh, the service card can talk about kind of paying attention to anybody. We have the letter card. This is unfolding. So this can be, uh, this is typically, you know, uh, positive, but it's communication uh, usually. And we have the messenger is the obstacle, and we have the sweetheart in the in the in the uh, outcome. So we're going to go ahead and finish this. This is uh, not this is very incomplete here. And we're also going to see Virgo how this person feels about you and uh, the shared energy between you, right? And we're also going to see we're going to look at you know their near future, and also what you don't know about this person, right? We're going to have a look at their environment as well. Mm hmm and uh, and their true intentions so thank you so much you guys for joining me they're all super affordable I really want to see this reading yeah please remember to like share and subscribe you guys are awesome